This is the face of Columbia at play. A competitive face, hardworking, sweating. Struggling, tearing, swinging. Straining. Figuring. Admiring. And judging. And if the entertainment or activity isn't here, Columbia is only 150 miles from anywhere in South Carolina and a lot closer to most of what's happening. It is over 300,000 people in the greater Columbia area, and the women outnumber the men by 5%. There's a transient population to be sure, but those who come to stay far outnumber the short-termers by 20 to 1. There are over 50,000 teenagers in the area, and most of them are either riding motorbikes or they're plugged in to transistor radios. There are nearly 60,000 young children in Colombia, and an equally number of cats, uh, dogs, hamsters, and goldfish to match all the small fry. Colombia has more taxable property, spends more to educate its children, has a higher standard of living, saves over $30 million annually, receives more salaries and wages, and spends more retail and wholesale than any other city in the state. Columbia has an average rainfall of 41 inches a year, but there's never enough to make the grass grow when it needs it. Columbia's mean annual temperature is 64 degrees, but somehow it seems to get hotter in the summer and colder in the winter than any other place in the country. But not a Colombian would trade the climate for any other place on a year-round basis.
Colombians spend more on groceries, buy more clothes, have more boats, drive newer cars, have more double garages, air condition more homes, play more golf, read more books, talk on the telephone more, they write more letters, pay more bills, bank more money, listen to more music, and watch more television than any other people in the state. The face of Columbia. Basically, it's people like you, your neighbors, me, and my neighbors. It's a lot of people you know and a lot of people who know you. You do a little bit of everything. Progress sometimes looks as if it were invented in Colombia by Colombians. Colombia is the home base of anything you wish, and if you wait a few weeks, it will have the things you can't find today. Columbia sets the styles and fads and trends for South Carolina. It also sets the state's pace, which is progressive and prosperous. Columbia is the face of South Carolina, the mirror of the state, the center of things, a remarkable city.